everyone welcome to or welcome back to my channel it is officially christmas time and you already know everybody is going to be asking you the most stressful question of all what do you want on your christmas list i usually just put the most random stuff on my christmas list because i can never remember what i want throughout the year my mind just goes completely blank but not to fear because I have compiled more than 150 Christmas gift ideas and I feel like there's something on this list for everybody. So we're gonna know what to put on our Christmas list this year. I feel like there is a gift idea for everyone, even if you just take one thing off this list. But I do have everything on my iPad here. It is a pretty long list, so I'm gonna try to go through everything pretty fast. I've broken them into separate categories just so you can kind of fast forward to whichever category you'd like. So the first category and my personal favorite is gonna be the skincare category. I feel like skincare has just been such a popular thing nowadays. And it's honestly such a good thing because we are not going to be looking crusty when we're old. And we're going to go pretty fast because I do have a lot of skincare items to get through. But if you want kind of a longer description of why you should get them, definitely go check out my Sephora shopping videos. I talk about all these products in there that are definitely worth the money. So for number one, I have the Glow Recipe Dew Drops. I just love the finish that they leave on my skin. It's just perfect. Number two, I have the Glow Recipe Toner. That toner has been everywhere this year. Number three, I have the Tower 28 Serum Slash Spray. Both of them are equally as good. I'm obsessed with both of them. They have improved my skin so much. Number four, I put the Snail Muse in. I have been using my mom's at the moment, but I definitely want to get my own. It's so good for dry skin. Number five, I have the Drunk Elephant Bronzy Slash Goldie Drops. These can be a little bit on the expensive side, but I do feel like like I'm wearing the bronzy drops right now and they just make my skin look so beautiful. I'm obsessed with them. Number six, I have the Drunk Elephant Moisturizer. That's the Lala Retro and the Proteiny Cream. I've never tried these before, but I've heard so many good things about them. Number seven is the Kosa Spray. I use this in my everyday skincare routine and it is so good. I love it. Number eight is the Youth to the People Cleanser. I have had so many people in my comments telling me to try this face wash, so I would definitely try it and add it to your list. For number nine, I have the Glow Recipe Watermelon Face Mask. It smells just like watermelon. It's so good. For number 10, I had to put the Summer Fridays Lip Balm. These are so popular for a reason. Any of the scents are amazing and definitely worth trying if you haven't. For number 11, I have the Glossier Balm.com Lip Balms. Number 12 is a skincare headband. These are everywhere and they're just super fun to wear when you do little get ready with me's and stuff. Number 13 is a skincare fridge. I don't really hear anybody talk about these anymore, but I do think that they're really important and kind of just would be fun to use. Number 14 is the Ordinary Serums. The Ordinary is such a good brand and any of the serums are amazing. Number 15 is very pricey, but ask for it if you like. The Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream and Serum. I've never tried these, but maybe in the future I will. Number 16 is the Glow Recipe Lip Balm. This is like a lip balm and a gloss mixed together. So pretty. Number 17 is the Laneige Lip Mask. These are so good and just so moisturizing for the lips. Number 18 is the Road Lip Treatments. I've never tried these, but they look so gorgeous, especially the pink color and like the different colors they have. Number 19 is the Drunk Elephant Be Hydra Serum. This was everywhere this year. Number 20 is the Super Goop Sunscreen. Sunscreen in general can just be pretty expensive, so I think it's a good time to ask for it for Christmas because even in the winter, we cannot stop wearing sunscreen, and the Super Goop brand is a really good brand that I personally love. Number 21 is the Merit Glow Serum. For number 22, I have anything from the Good Molecules brand. All of their skincare is super affordable, and I've heard such good things about them. Number 23 i have the costa sunscreen it's such a good tinted one just for no makeup days for number 24 i have the glow recipe advent calendar when i saw they came out with this i was obsessed it is a little pricey 75 dollars, but you get such good stuff in it i'm not even joking go look what's inside that advent calendar i almost want to ask for this for my christmas list and for the last thing on the skincare section, I have the Mini Summer Fridays. If you have been wanting to try some of the Summer Fridays lip balms, I definitely recommend this kit. It's amazing. Okay, for the next category, I have self-care and self-care items. So number 26, I have the Pixie Eye Patches. I am absolutely obsessed with these. Just coming home after a long day and putting these on my eyes is just perfect. 
For number 27, I have any of the sheet masks that you can find. They're just always such a good gift or a stocking stuffer or maybe for your friend. They're just so good. Number 28, I have a lash extensions kit. For number 29, I have the Derif Avenue robe. I have seen these everywhere. Anyone who wears them just looks like a princess, so they are just so beautiful. I'm so sorry guys, if I'm talking a little weird, I just got my wisdom teeth removed, so my speech is a little messed up, but the videos have to carry on. For number 30, I have the Glossier U Perfume. I'm actually putting this on my Christmas list. It smells so yummy, and apparently when you spray it on yourself, it like has its own scent on everybody, so it's just amazing. Number 31, I have any of the Ariana Grande perfumes. I really wanna get the Mod Vanilla, but also Cloud is so good. For number 32, I have the Billie Eilish perfume. I don't listen to her, but I smell her perfume and it smells delicious. Number 33, I have anything Sol de Janeiro. Their body sprays, their lotion, lip balm, everything is so good from there. The 62 and the 68 are the best ones in my opinion. Number 34, I have pimple patches. You never know when a pesty little pimple is gonna pop on your face. And I just love to have pimple patches at all times. So I'm definitely gonna be adding this to my Christmas list. Number 35, I have Bath & Body Works sprays or lotions or soaps. I am obsessed with Bath & Body Works and their winter collection is so cute. Number 36, of course I had to put Tree Hut Scrubs. They just came out with their winter scents and they smell so good. I just saw them at Target. I wanted to buy every single one of them. Number 37 is the EOS Lotion or the EOS Lotion. They smell heavenly. The coconut and the vanilla ones are so yummy. For number 38, I have Lush Bath Bombs. I love just coming home and taking a nice warm bath and it just makes it 10 times better when you have a fun little bath bomb. For number 39, I have a Snuggie. This may seem like a joke, it is not. When I was recovering from my wisdom tooth removal, I literally lived in my Snuggie, so you definitely need one. They are amazing. For number 40, I have disposable face towels. When I switched from using reusable bath towels to disposable bath towels, my acne improved so much. Just because you never know how much bacteria is on the hand towels, no matter how much you wash it. So I just always recommend them. Number 41 is a Velcro towel. Um, I'm actually obsessed with my Velcro towel. It's like you just tape it closed and then you don't have to worry about it. You can just do whatever you want and I'm obsessed with it. I need to get myself another one. Number 42 is a shower steamer. And lastly, number 43 is a self-care basket which is basically just a basket of your favorite soap, deodorant, lotion, face mask, just a cute little basket that you can either ask for or give somebody. I think that would make a perfect gift and would make someone really happy. Okay, next category is makeup. So for number 44, I have the Makeup by Mario blush stick, specifically in the color Raspberry. That one is so popular. Number 45 is the Patrick Ta contour or blush. I'm obsessed with the contour, but I've never tried the blush. Number 46 is anything from Rare Beauty. Honestly, you can't go wrong with any of her stuff. It's all super good. Number 47 is any of the Fenty glosses. They are all so pretty on the lips. Number 48 is the Dior lip oil or the Dior blush. I would honestly ask for the lip oil more than the blush, but both of them are gorgeous. Number 49 is very pricey, but it is the most beautiful lip balm I've ever seen in my life. It's the Tom Ford lip balm. I'm gonna ask for this. I probably won't get it, but I want it so bad. 50 is the Benefit Sugar Cookie Highlighter. It just looks so pretty on every girl I see wear it. Number 51 is the YSL Candy Glaze. That's what I have on my lips right now and it's so beautiful. I love it. For number 52, I have the Jisoo Lip Oil, specifically the Shimmer one. I'm obsessed with it and it's so pretty. Number 53, I have Anything Charlotte Tilbury. Again, I feel like you can't go wrong with this brand. It is a little bit on the pricey side, but all of their products that I've tried are super good. Number 54, I have the Shishido. Shishido. <laughs> eyelash curler that's what i use to curl my eyelashes and they just look flawless every time number 55 i have the refi primer number six i have a powder puff i definitely recommend a powder puff for your makeup routine i just prefer it so much better than a powder brush 
For number 57, I have the Ilia Limitless Lash Mascara. I will never shut up about this mascara. It is my all-time favorite, and I'm definitely going to restock on it this Christmas. Number 58 is Setting Spray. You can never have too much setting spray. The Charlotte Tilbury one is good, but my personal favorite is the Urban Decay All Nighter. Number 59 is the Patrick Ta Eyebrow Gel. For number 60, I have the Pixie Blush Stick. I actually am a really big fan of this. I think it's super pretty. I have the really pinky shade. Number 61 is the e.l.f. Lip Oil. I've been dying to try this. Number 62 is the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. I've also heard so many good things about this. Number 63 is the e.l.f. Halo Glow and the Halo Glow Wands. I have the Halo Glow and it's amazing. I've never tried the wands, but from what I've heard, they are so good. Number 64, I have the Say Sun Glow, which is like a bronzy drops dupe. And number 65, I have the e.l.f advent calendar yes they have an advent calendar which i think it has like all full-size products for a super good price so if you've been wanting to try elf definitely ask for that okay next is hair care i have for 66 the jisoo hair oil i actually use that on my hair and i love it a lot number 67 i have the redkin shampoo and conditioner for number 68 i have the revlon styling brush I've seen so many of my friends with this and they really like it. Number 69 is pricey, but the Dyson Airwrap, personally, not worth it in my opinion. But hey, if you want to try it for yourself, go ahead and ask for it. Number 70 is anything from Olaplex. For number 71, I have the Sol de Janeiro Leave-In Conditioner. This smells heavenly. I love it. Number 72, I have the Way Leave-In Conditioner. I've heard super good things about that one as well. For number 74, it's the new Dyson product that just came out, the Air Straight for straightening your hair. It looks cool, but it's also like $700. Number 75, I have the Shark Hair Styler. That one's the more affordable Dyson, which... I would get that one. And lastly in hair care, I have the reusable hair towel. I use one of these every time I come out the shower. It's just way better for your hair. And I just love it because I don't have to worry about my hair ever falling out. For the next category, I have clothes. So number 77, I have the Lululemon Define Jacket, the BBL jacket. This is gonna make you look snatched. Number 78, I have the Lululemon Scuba. 79 is just the Lululemon leggings. You can never go wrong with a pair of fresh leggings. Number 80 is some Lululemon shorts. The warm season is coming up faster than you think, so stock up now. 81 is anything from Victoria's Secret, whether that's PJs or bras and underwear. Bras and underwear can be super expensive, so I usually wait till Christmas to ask for them. It's not weird. It's a necessity for us girls, so don't be embarrassed to ask for bras. Number 82 is anything from Skims. I've never tried Skims, but honestly, anyone who wears it just looks so good. Like the dress, I want to try one of those on so bad. Number 83 is fuzzy socks. I ask for fuzzy socks every year and I am never disappointed because they are just so fun. Number 84 is the dandy flower hoodie. I don't know, I just saw this one day and I thought it was so cute. 85 is anything from Brandy Melville. Number 86 is airy leggings and these are personally the leggings that I always wear. The flare leggings, the regular leggings, they're just more affordable than the Lululemon ones and they work just the same in my opinion. Number 87 is the American Eagle Snoopy pajamas. These are adorable. And lastly, 88 is just any Christmas pajamas. I love waking up and getting a fresh new PJ set on Christmas that I can just wear and it's just the best. Next category is going to be shoes. For 89, I have any kind of slippers. Number 90, I have Ugg Tasmans. I actually just got a pair and I'm obsessed with them. 91, I have Vans. I'm a Vans girly, the checkerboard Vans, my favorite. 92 is any of the Nike Dunks. I specifically love all the pink ones they come out with. They're just so girly and cute. Number 93 is Birkenstocks. These are super comfortable to just wear everywhere. 94 is Crocs. I am not embarrassed to say I wear my Crocs probably more than any shoe that I wear in my life. They are just so comfortable. Number 95 is Converse. For 96, I have Doc Martens or any kind of winter type boots. And 97, I have New Balances. 
The next category is going to be accessories. So for 98, I have some claw clips. You can never have too much of these. 99, I have hair bows. These have recently made a comeback and they look so cute on everybody. Number 100 is scrunchies or any type of hair ties. I always lose mine, so it's always good to have more. Number 101 is any of the jewelry from Amazon. They have such good jewelry selections. Number 102 is a James Avery charm bracelet. That's really only down here in Texas, but I'm obsessed with my charm bracelets, y'all already know. If you're feeling fancy, number 103 is a Tiffany charm bracelet. I so want to get this one right here. It's so beautiful, but that's definitely going to be in the future. Number 104 is another very pricey one, but it's the Tiffany necklace. So pretty. For 105, I have any of the Kendra Scott necklaces. They have so many options and they're so pretty as well. For 106, I have earmuffs and mittens. These are just so aesthetic and cute and I definitely need to get myself a pair. For 107, I have the Bagu bags. I actually just got the Hello Kitty one, but they also have this adorable bow bag. Any of the Bagu bags are just adorable. For 108, I have a tote bag or any tote bags to take to the beach or just take all of your stuff in for school. 109, I have a Lululemon belt bag. These are so cute. I definitely want to get one. For 110, I have a coach purse. 111 is the Marc Jacobs tote bag. I used to want one of these so bad. I still do, but they are kind of expensive. And 112 is going to be sunglasses. Okay, my next category is probably my most expensive category, but feel free to ask for whatever you'd like. It's your Christmas list. So number 113 is a Nintendo Switch. I'm obsessed with my nintendo switch i play that thing every day 114 is an iphone 15 115 i have the apple airpod maxes these were everywhere at one point but i have never stopped wanting a pair for myself i'm definitely going to be adding these to my list this year 116 is the airpod pros 117 is the apple phone case i love all of the colors that they have 118 is any of the wildflower phone cases 119 is the hp sprocket printer basically you take a picture on your phone and you can print it digitally no sorry print it physically and it has been one of my favorite gifts i've ever gotten 120 is an ipad i use my ipad every single day it's what i use to edit plan my videos just really anything i'm obsessed and so grateful for my ipad 121 is an apple pencil i would say if you're in school or do any type of digital work or anything like that a apple pencil is needed 122 is more like if you're wanting to start or improve your YouTube channel. It's the Canon G7X. Personally, I don't think you need to have a super expensive camera to do great on your YouTube channel. I personally film with my phone, but if you're looking for like a starter camera or something like that, I know this is a very popular one. 123, going with that same thought, a ring light is so important when you film. For 124, I have a digital camera. These are so cute. 125, I have a light projector. These are just so relaxing when you sleep and I definitely want to get one one day. 126 is a projector, like where you display the movies on. 127 is an Apple AirTag. You never know when you're going to lose your keys or your purse. They're just always good to have. 128 is any video game that you've been wanting, whether that's a Nintendo Switch game, an Xbox game, a Sims game, any video game that you can think of. And lastly, in the electronic section, it's going to be an online subscription, whether that be for your gaming system or, you know, just any online subscription. And the last category on here that I have is miscellaneous, which is just stuff that didn't have a category. So for 130, I have gift cards, of course. These are just always such a good thing to ask for if you don't know what to ask for. Target gift cards, Sephora, Ulta, Starbucks. I also put a gift card to your favorite place to go to whether that be to go with your family your boyfriend or maybe your best friend 131 i have room decor i definitely need some room decor 132 i have a jelly cat these are the cutest stuffed animals i've ever seen for 133 i have the vanity mirror 134 is vanity organizers they just help your vanity look so much nicer and more put together 
135 is of course a Stanley cup. I have seen almost every person with one of these cups. 136 is Sunny Angels. I love Sunny Angels. 137 is a Lego set, specifically the flower Lego set. 138, if you want to go for the whole enchilada, ask for an entire vanity. 139 is any of the room lights. I think those make a room look so nice and put together and just so aesthetically pleasing. 140 is the Lululemon water bottle. For 141, I put a jewelry box. Number 142 is concert tickets to your favorite artist. 143 is a satin pillowcase. I use one of these every night. I definitely recommend. For 144, I put new sheets for your bed or a new comforter. It's just always nice to have new sheets to put on your bed. 145, I put a vanity chair. For 146, I put a book or any book series that you've been wanting to read. Now's your chance to ask for it. 147, I put the Bobby Goods coloring book with markers. I've seen everybody obsess over this coloring book. 148 is an acrylic at home set so you can do your own acrylics at home. 149 is a Starbucks cup. For 150, I have any car decor or car accessories that you think you might need. 151, I put a heated blanket. I'm obsessed with my heated blanket throughout the winter. That is my best friend. For 152, I have a heating pad. When you're on your ladies days, sometimes the cramps just get too much and a heating pad has just done wonders for me. For 153, I have the Lululemon keychain. 154 is a coach card holder or really any card holder that you can attach to your keys. 155, I have a wax warmer. For 156, I have a candle, whether that's from Bath & Body Works or Target or just any of your favorite candle places. 157 is very simple, but it's just a cozy blanket. I always love to ask for blankets. They are just my favorite thing ever. For 158, I have the new Sanrio Build-A-Bear that just came out. I don't really hear anybody talking about this, but I love Sanrio and they just came out with the pom-pom purr in one, which I need to go get mine. For 159, I have a headache hat. I suffer from migraines and this thing, I'm obsessed with it. I put it on every time I have a headache. For 160, I have an eye mask. I cannot sleep without my eye mask. And lastly, for 161, if you are a coffee connoisseur, then you need your own coffee machine. Okay guys, we finally made it through 150 plus Christmas wish list ideas. I really hope there was something on here that you could find to add to your Christmas list. Let me know if I missed anything in the comments down below. Also, I just wanna say thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much and stay tuned for my next video coming out. It's officially Christmas time. So that means we have to go Christmas shopping. So stay tuned for my Christmas Christmas shopping vlog but I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video bye